Some people are very good at crossing the many social, cultural and organisational boundaries in their community, making them valuable connectors. They are active, engaged, passionate and care about their community. So how can health services work with these people to access the hard to reach people in their community? I'm always out encouraging people to join groups and get to know each other. And the men's shed, we've got about 23 people. You know, there, there could be 50 members of our men's shed. When I think of how many people who um, could be there. Here's an example, there's a um, local man, he's 63 or 64, asked him how he's going. I didn't know him, he told me he was pretty sad. Um, so I thought about it for a fortnight and one morning I knocked on his door at about 10 a.m. and he came out in his pajamas. And I said to him, have you ever been to Men's Shed? Um, and no, he said. So I took him down to Men's Shed and um, he's our best member now. He's doing sign writing, he's restoring furniture, happy as Larry, singing away, only 63, but you know, he could be a wreck. This research project is called Boundary Spanning for Health. It addresses the challenge health services have to get the right services to the hardest to reach people. CCAD, South East Area Cork Development, is partnering with us because it supports their efforts to connect people with each other and with organisations. We want to explore the role that community connectors have in working with health organisations and other community organisations. So community connectors are those people in the community who naturally connect people with each other, with resources, with groups, with organisations. They do this by spanning and crossing all the boundaries, the social and cultural boundaries that can separate us. We're doing two case studies, one in Australia and one in Ireland. Both of them involve interviews with staff, with community members and also a social media analysis. From this, we'll develop a model that organisations like CCAD and other health and community services can use. We think it's got international significance and we hope it can be used by communities all around the world.